Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining us here today. It's March, the days are getting slightly longer, there's a little bit of warmth in the air, the daffodils and the bulbs are flowering. So I was inspired to do a little DIY. Now one of the things that I hold value in is reusing something that is rubbish, something that's going to be thrown out and making it into something beautiful. So like a little bit of reusing repurpose. But these beautiful plates and bowls and cutlery, they all came from my grandparents. Back in the day when they got married, at that time, everybody used to give you gifts of what you'd need for life. So having a dinner set was very important when you're eating and entertaining. And then they passed. And of course, the plates and the bowls were all passed down to family. It's really beautiful using their stuff. It brings a lot of joy. But one of the things with them is that, of course, they can break easily. A lot of them are fine bone china. But I never loved the idea of them just sitting in a box, not being used. Something delicate. I think it's important to use it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you prefer to just display things in a cabinet or use them and have the risk of them breaking? So over the years, we hand wash here and of course a lot of them break so I've been storing them for about 10 years and no matter how careful I am and even hand washing is much better than using a dishwasher for bone china over the years they just started to get little chips and cracks and so I knew someday I would make a mosaic table and that day is now. I found this table in a charity shop here in Ireland for a couple of euro, really inexpensive. It's got really sturdy legs because I'm gonna keep this outside. Now the other thing with doing a little bit of a DIY and a repurpose is I wanted to use products that I already had. So we didn't want to go out and buy stuff. And when we did the bathroom, we had extra grout and tile adhesive. So we had a little bit left over and I thought I would use that. I started off by sanding it down with some heavy grit. In hindsight, I don't think I really needed to do it, but I just wanted to strip the table back bare. And I used some tile adhesive to put it onto the table but I have seen other videos where people just glue each individual piece on so again it depends what you have at home and what you way you're interested in doing it but maybe if you're wanting to do this project a good DIY store should be able to point you in the right direction of what you'll need we were slightly winging it let's say just using what we had and kind of making the best of it. But that's life, eh? Then I had this box of all the beautiful plates. And of course, every plate had to be made into small pieces. And then I was able to pick through which pieces I liked and was going to use and which I wasn't. And you can see all the different sizes and thickness and shapes. It did take quite a while to get it to the size and shape that I needed but I would highly recommend getting a hammer and cracking some plates. It's really therapeutic. And keeping it safe, it is really important to put something over the plates because when you hit them, of course, little shards will just go flying. What I did was I cracked them all into big pieces first. But then when I had the big pieces, I then cracked them again into smaller pieces. So it was a little bit time consuming. And because I have a little fairy and I'm looking after her, I just had to pace myself. And of course, doing it outside, we get a lot of rain here. So I had to wait for the little sunny patches to just run out and do it.
So our little fairy is absolutely yeah. loving the outdoors, which I think a lot of children do. And she's enjoying watering all the plants. So even though Ireland gets an incredible amount of rain, our plants are getting just that little bit of extra water. Then what I did was I divided, just put like with like into a few different jars. Just when I was kind of making the pattern, I'd be using kind of different colors. What some people do, and I've seen online, is they will make the whole design for the table and then individually take each one off and glue it. A lot less messy, but I just decided to wing it and just go with the design. Start with the first tile and just trust the process and just keep going, hoping that it would turn out somewhat pretty. The only thing I decided in my head is that I would stick with the one plate, the edge of one plate and then, or it was a couple of plates, just the same design and use that around the edge just to give it a little bit of kind of like a border. And then I used this tile adhesive, which was kind of like cement, dried incredibly quickly. I had to work so fast. You leave tiny gaps in between and you really just have to trust. I didn't know what way it was going to work out. I then just kept going, working in small patches. I found it terribly therapeutic to just work outside on a craft. The little fairy was napping and my husband works inside the house. Just listening to the birds and the air and the rain. Your mind just relaxes and all your worries disappear. These beautiful tulip bulbs have all flowered and our neighbor gave them to us a year ago and so it's lovely to see them all coming out. That's the beautiful thing about community. People just share what they don't need. When you have something extra, you're able to give it off and pass it to someone else. This was definitely the type of project that got incredibly messy before it was made pretty. And I was slightly anxious before starting it, thinking of, I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't know how it's gonna work out. But it's kind of like life, eh? You just need to make the first step, make the first move, so to speak. I had to just put that first tile down and just keep going. Then once you start, you get a little bit momentum going. And then you just keep and you get in the flow. It always is that first step is the hardest, eh? Ireland for the last year has been having far more rain than usual. And if any of you know Ireland or live here, you know that we get an incredible amount of rain, but it's been extra this last year. I wanted in the middle a little bit of the writing on the back of the plates, just to kind of share where they were made. So if anyone was doing it, I just worked in small batches, a little bowl, adding water, small bit of the powder, little patch, and then remake again. You just have to work so quickly because it sets so fast. And you think all the tiles look messy and so forth, but then you're able to clean all that off after. None of it stays actually on top of the tiles. So this is me just at the very end, putting the last few on, 
tidying it all out and then I needed to let it dry for a day. And the next job is putting the grout on. Really messy, but much easier because you're not, it's not going to set as quick. You've got more movability in it. And what you want is the grout to go into every single crack. And then you need a sponge. We didn't have one, so I used a t-shirt, an old paint t-shirt, over a piece of wood. And you need to just keep going back and forth. Grout, wipe it off, then rinse it off, bits of water, and then back again. Takes a little bit of time. Terry helped as well. A lot more than I thought would be needed. And then all you left to do is let that grout dry and you can clean off the little tiles, any little extra grout on the tiles. And it just needs time to dry. So I'm absolutely delighted with how it turned out. All that was left to do was head over to my parents' garden with all the daffodils and have a cup of tea in one of my grandparents' china cups. I thought it was a beautiful ending. She had this beautiful plates. She used them for her life and loved them. She passed, moved them on to other family members. I used them, broke them, remade it into something beautiful that can be used for years to come. So I really hope you've enjoyed this type of video. Let me know in the comments below if you're an avid mosaic table maker or what crafts you like to do or any other things that you make from something that would be thrown out. It's been lovely being with you here in March and I hope to see you again in April Sending you lots of love from Ireland and I'll see you soon.